Hi guys, it's Jenny from Metamorphit and welcome to my Come to Jesus Friday vlog. Um, it's actually Thursday and I'm out at the football and cheerleading field with the kids. And I actually have Matthew with me today too. Um, Matthew and I did our dog training session today and I'm going to talk a little bit about it on my blog. It'll be in the post above this one, but he did really, really well um, as far as what we worked on and that was with dog aggression and um, she really didn't see any, and, and I'm not going to go into it because it's going to be on my post, and I don't want to, you know, double hash it. Um, so I feel confident with taking him out places with us, and, um, you know, I'm not comfortable with dog parks. I've never been comfortable with dog parks, so it doesn't matter uh, one way or the other, but, you know, we walked a mile out here tonight, um, and it was nice. He did really, really well, and we practiced a lot of our skills, and no problems. Okay, so I'm going to talk to you guys today about... Um, Something that I get asked a lot, and that's about um, extra skin. You know, after losing 212 pounds, I have uh, people ask me constantly, really, that's probably one of the number one questions I get, is, do you have loose skin? And the answer is, yes, of course I have loose skin. Um, as I've gotten older, um, I'm 41 now, um, I've even started to get more loose skin in, in certain spots, like under here like the turkey waddle you guys remember Ally McBeal and that one lawyer he had the infatuation with the waddle well I'm getting the waddle and I don't really know if there's anything that I can do about it except for um you know like Botox or plastic surgery or something to like tighten it up but you know what really I'd much rather have a little bit of a waddle here than like what I had before you know like four double chins so I'm okay with a little bit of a waddle um I also have some um, under my arms, and I know that you guys have um, seen pictures um, from when I posted my before pictures from CrossFit. Let me see if I can get this situated up here. I don't think so, because like I said, I'm sitting in the car. Um, that'll kind of work for now. But um, in my arm here, I have some, some extra skin. And yeah, it's not pretty, but look at those guns. Look at those guns, man. So see? I mean, I'm strong up through here, but I have some extra skin under here. And again, you know, I am A-OK -okay with that. Um, when Dr. Oz was here in Tampa in July, I did get a chance to, uh, to speak with him. And he looked at my arms and said, basically, you know, I, I might be a candidate for um, a stitch, basically, where instead of, you know, like being a surgery where they're actually going and removing the skin, they just kind of stitch it and pull it up. Um, but I don't think I want to do anything like that. You know, again, I'm, I'm 41. I'm almost 42. Um, I'm, you know, middle-aged and, you know, things are going to sag and things are going to drop, you know, no matter what. Puppy snoring back there again. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. Um, I also do have some on my, my lower belly. Um, and then I have some on my inner thighs. I'm going to spare you guys that. Um, mainly because there's young children running around and they probably don't want to see that. Um, not that you want to see it either, but you know, uh, so, you know, again, it is what it is. You know, I, I'm, I'm happy with, um, with what I've accomplished and, and I kind of look at these things, the waddle and the extra skin a little bit like battle scars. Um, it's a reminder to me of, of how far I've come and, you know, I put on a pair of Spanx or I put on a shirt and you can't see it, you know? You, you can't even tell that it's there. Um, you'd never know that I was formerly a morbidly obese woman. Um, now, when I wear shorts, and you can see the extra skin on my thighs, I did have a woman at Bush Gardens last summer as we were coming off Cheetah Hunt, and we came into the gift shop. Um, she was sitting down on this bench, and, and she stopped me, and she said, I have to ask you, have you lost a lot of weight? And I said, yeah, I did. And she goes, yeah. And she was nice about it. I mean, she's like, yeah, I can tell. I can tell by your legs. And I was like, oh, okay. You know, what do you say to someone like that? Okay. Well, thanks for noticing all this a lot of weight. Thanks. I know I got like extra skin hanging and it kind of looks like an elephant. Eh, whatever. Um, it is what it is. Okay. So I know some people are worried that if they lose weight, they're going to have extra skin. And you know what, guys? I think that's just an excuse to not start your own journey. I think it's an excuse 
that you're using because you're really not fully committed. I'm just going to put it out there and say it because you know what? Loose skin shouldn't matter. Loose skin isn't going to kill you. Okay? Being fat will. Okay? Blunt. Being obese can kill you. Okay? Having a waddle, having some extra arm skin, not going to kill me. Being 200 pounds overweight, going to kill me. Okay? It doesn't take a brain surgeon to figure out which one I would rather have. And I don't think that it should be your crutch to fall back on either. Okay? So that's that. Come to Jesus. Maybe. Maybe. All right. So you guys have a great weekend, and I will talk to you soon. Peace.